you are also aware from France and welcome to the round number 13 that is going to take place at Netherlands. This is Dutch Grand Prix. Okay, we have 2044 resource point. We have this uh, got failed last time out. That is tire blanket. Sorry, tire blanket. Okay, can we bring in this upgrade also? Okay, but not before the Dutch Grand Prix, I guess. Okay, we are still ahead of Al Fazari. We have been taking a penalty quite often nowadays. Our qualifying is also not going good. Let's hope so if we can qualify at much better place this time. Because the car has a pace, let me be honest with you. All we need to do is to see if we can get a good place in qualifying. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Okay, replacing gearbox also. Okay. Okay, the weather forecast is clear in the qualifying and also in the race. I guess it's time to do some practice then. That's a glitch. Okay, talking about the car practice, uh, sorry, car performance during the practice session. The car is good, it is under control also. Let's see if we can do what it is to get into a good power finder. Okay, but I really like this tank set. Yeah, very fast. Great stuff. You've pretty much nailed this circuit. This is a really strong foundation to build from over the weekend. And with all the cars now over the line, let's see our top three again. Norris, Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And that's it. Practice is officially over. Until next time, goodbye. Okay, practice done. Now the ultimate test is in the qualifying. Okay, P10 for Sebastian, P13 for us. And uh, as usual, the performance wasn't that much good. And that could lead us to, into a qualifying 3 and we are out of qualifying 2 only. That's it, we are going to start from P15. No more penalty, I will take. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. You won't be starting at the front of the pack. Are you worried? Again, the same old question about it starting at the front of the grid. I'm sick of it, you know that? How do you think this team will be feeling after that result? I don't care right now. Appreciate your time. Okay, time to make a show in the race then. For years, the passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside at races across Europe and throughout the world. Now, at long last, they have a Grand Prix to call their own. It's a warm welcome once again to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. Zandvoort circuit then, 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout the 2.6 mile lap and watch out for cars making use of the DRS zone into Turn 1 to try and overtake. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. 
and that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Lando Norris, and Sainz, Ricardo, Gasly, Vettel, and Kimi Raikkonen, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, the captain, and Leclerc, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, George Russell, and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin, and Yuki Tsunoda. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Okay, with other penalties, we are starting from P13 now. That's the bottle is starting to. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are underway racing now. Not much gain on my start. Already lost with one of the Ferrari, look at but it still manages to keep our head minor to the outside, but it still is side by side trying to do what he can do. Okay, I went wide there. Alright, now he's trying to do it from the outside, but nevertheless, can't do that. Still, we are side by side, and he tried to touch me because I closed the door. Okay, that was a nasty short but it's just done with the job and if I have any problem with that wow Fernando's first lap was good maybe a catching as the man okay this time yeah, not great overtake by me. Okay. We are P12 now. Can we get Dragon and also in this one? Because last entry is the favorite one and also a fastest one also. Taking the same stream and through the outside. Done. Okay, good work, great pass. Thank you. We got close up with our teammate now. We are starting with P10. We are at lap number 3. The RS is already on. We are getting the rate. The screen behind him. We will take outside now. Don't give us good side. Even if that space, done it beautifully. Okay, P10, good. That's put us up into a point scoring position. Only after gaining over Badam now. He's our teammate also. Okay, I think I have run wide over there. And I think I got touched with Badal also. A new strategy apart. is available on the MFD. Oh okay, my slow god, down, slow down. The your delta problem. is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Okay, let's see him. On board. See, we are going off. Then we came. And I think it turned also, and the front wing is damaged. With that, we also brought out the safety guard. Will there gonna be a change in strategy? Because I'm not going to change one because I already am running on medium tire. Yes, it is going to be changed. All the front running cars are coming in. Mercedes are double stacking their car. Even Red Bull. Now it's also coming in, this is bad on coming in with a broken front wing. <laughs> a glitch, there was a broken, then it got fixed again. Okay, it's lap number 6, we are leading the race with the safety car. We still need to fit along with Omon and Juvenazzi also. 
this has been a turn of event, I guess. Okay, the safety car is coming in this lap. We'll be pacing the field in sector three. Make sure to respect the delta until the safety car is in the pit lane. My tires are so cold, that's why I'm weaving so much. I had to do that. Since the tire got so much cold, I forgot to walk off. Alright, safety car going to come into the snap and we are underway. Bakati 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 go. Break the shift stream, yo. Look at the shift stream. I don't want to anyone to gain advantage right now. We just move to keep forward and forward again. It's lap number eight. Uh, we're gonna be getting uh, our stop pretty soon then. Okay, nothing to show. It's lap number 10. Okay, starting off for lap number 11. We are coming into the pit. And Lando Norris is uh, leading the race now. Carlos Sainz is at 72. Again, Mac was tapping in his home race. Okay, he move ahead. He's P2 now. Now it's our time to shine. We need to make most of the overtakes and let them gain position and get back into the point. This safety car did change us something. We didn't change the strategy. We are just sticking to it. It's a soft tire, it's a new tire. Brother, you don't stand a chance with that. Even on our tires, I think there was a steel touch. You've taken P15. Thank you for that. that. That's a move on Mazamin. He really trying to shoot pieces into the ball, but. Okay, they were attending with him also, it didn't give us a place. Why is it always with you guys? Alright, the car ahead is again our teammate. We were more careful passing him again. He's also in top. We are the fastest. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Wow. Can you keep up this until the very end? I think that Schumacher is out of the race. Can we move to the outside? Yes, we can. It's still side by side. Given him the room, he had to back off. Otherwise, it would be a problem. We now have to be careful because we are the only piece that we got to go behind. Alright, on board with uh, Sunoda. This camera is like that's so why I have to do that. We are closing in, closing in. We got momentum, we got speed, we got power, <laughs> and the late braking of course. And we are in P12. Only a couple of positions away from the sun. Literally have to move the grass to overtake Raikkonen. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Okay, that one also done. Two laps remaining now, and these three are already fighting for the position. Which might let us also into that fight zone. All are in medium. That's why I'm Gain, 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 gain. Bang. Then shift. Come so on, already I have inside line. Back off. And he did back off. Okay. Time to work here to look at This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Okay. I think I can make that. It was a late time lunch, but it still turned it beautifully. But keeping the car inside the white uh, We got Joe's because of the last lap we are running on. Can we get models also? He's already is using a hard in this 18 lap of race. Why? Mercedes can be so bad at this time. That's it then. Landon orders win. Life was seven foot and in his home race. In the first, and we just got into a P8. I think that was a pretty much small crazy race, but it still got into the point. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. And the driver of the team. Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here in Sandford, but they have done and done it in spectacular style. Anthony Davidson, 
How do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure, and no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. Wow, well, McLaren are really progressing in the performance line. The three have been in the podium in the Monaco And the same thing happens again. <laughs> So, let's review the driver's standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I have to give it to the captain. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. Let's move on to the constructors. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, I can't wait to see what's next. Of course, even I can't wait to see what's next. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? I think my only strategy was to stick on to my strategy because with all that late safety car. You're beating all expectations. Would you say we all underestimated you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. From the very moment we come, I came into the Formula 1. You had a close battle today, didn't you? I don't think so. I had a close battle with Daniel or something. Uh, you can say that with a battle, of course. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Yeah, these things happen. We do need to make points. That Great. Part. Well, that's everything. <laughs> okay, then. That's it for this round. I hope you do like, uh, like this race. If you do, do hit that like button down there. And do subscribe if you are new. And we will see you in my round number 14 that is going to take place in... Monza, I guess. Yes, it is going to be an Italian Grand Prix. I hope we can make progress on that one. Okay, only one update is to go. Okay then, see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.